I'm Fresh Expressions Deanery Missioner and advisor for Scarborough Deanery and I started this job six years ago when I was asked to um, apply for the post to work across Scarborough Deanery of 26 churches and to, to work with those churches um, in order to take the gospel out onto the streets and the beach, places where the church was, didn't already have a presence. The post came about because Scarborough Deanery decided that when a vacancy came up and a vicar retired, that they would do something more creative and um, take a step of faith in creating a post where somebody could come and do fresh expressions across the deanery, working with churches and people and um, just reaching out to people who don't know anything about church, let alone the Christian faith. When I first um, came to Scarborough Deanery to do this job, I was given a blank canvas and uh, that's, that was quite exciting but also daunting. As a, I had a question, well, where, where, can I, where do I start really and who can I work with? So immediately, I, um, as I was travelling around, getting to know people, visiting different churches and different parts of the deanery, I deliberately scouted for people with enthusiasm and vision who had a heart for mission and um, rather than take them or poach them out of their churches to join a team their role was to be an advocate for fresh expressions in their local church because we have 26 churches in Scarborough Deanery um, and a lot of expectations were put on me to reach all of those churches, which is just impossible. So by having a team, it meant that we could work well together and serve well, serve local people who had nothing to do with church, but at the same time, get alongside local churches and uh, to be part of this work together. The very first thing that we did as a team was to sit down and uh, pray together to support one another and um, to think about what God's vision would look like in this place. So really our role was to start by dreaming dreams together and to see how that could happen, how that could come into fruition. And we wanted to really just get out there and try something. So we decided to go where the local church didn't have a presence and that was in the local travel lodge. So it was the beginning of the year, January, and we decided to do an alpha course. So we advertised by putting a banner on the railings which just said, as you think about your New Year resolution, how about thinking about the meaning of life? Something along those lines to get people thinking. Halfway through the alpha course, um, you could s people were beginning to think, well, what next? And um, some people within that course really wanted to take steps of faith but church was just a massive bridge to cross so we decided that for those who wanted to we would have a weekly um, hub group which is a nurturing and discipleship group which is still going today but with different people and we have several of those groups of small missional communities and I say missional communities because it's not just a group where they come together. These groups of people who are new to faith or who have had faith and stayed away from church and come back again, um, we do things on the streets and beach to engage creatively with the local community. So the people who attend hub groups get involved in the mission down on the beach or the streets, whatever it is that we're doing. From um, starting this job and having a deanery brief, uh, it became apparent to me that there were certain parts of the town, uh, one place in particular, Eastfield, which people had a real heart for, uh, but it was a place that was struggling. It's in the top 10% of the most deprived in the country, and in terms of church, there was very little church and Christian presence. So from the very beginning, the Fresh Expressions team in Scarborough had a heart for doing something in that area. So now today on that estate, Eastfield, um, we have a charity called Westway Open Arms, which is based um, ne in um, an old vicarage. And uh, that vicarage, it hasn't actually been a vicarage for 20 years. It's been boarded up and derelict and we've reopened it 
and it's a centre, it's a hub of the community which serves people four days a week in times of crisis. So from that centre we have things like food bank, um, pregnancy crisis, support, uh, drop-in, free lunches, debt advice, budgeting and so on. But alongside this we're offering people a chance to explore Christian faith and spirituality and also um, a rhythm of life because for some people there are a lot of chaotic lifestyles and coming into the centre and just having somewhere to go that's safe, to have your needs met as well as to uh, think about the real issues of life and spirituality. We work very closely with the church which is built onto the vicarage called Holy Nativity Eastfield. Well, that meets on a Sunday morning and it's beginning to grow but what we have realised is in order to see real growth which reflects um, the culture of the local community we've got to start something new. So very soon um, through courses and things that we have been doing like Start or Alpha or Emmaus there's a variety of things that we've been um, putting on for local people they really have this hunger and they want to take it further. So we're going to start at Sunday at four, which is around food and hospitality and welcome. And it will be very informal. And uh, we're going to start that next month. From my point of view, all of this work has um, been able to happen and work well because of the support of not only the deanery, in taking um, a risk and creative steps forward to do things differently, but also York Diocese, which is my sponsoring diocese. And to have um, the diocesan staff, including my um, bishop, the Bishop of Hull, fully behind and supporting these new initiatives makes all the difference. And for me personally, and for our team, it's been really important to work very closely and to be deeply rooted within the tradition of the church in order to be released to go out, to have that support um, in order to go out and to do new things in creative ways. And the way that's worked together, um, the new and the traditional complementing each other and working together has worked very well. One of the things that was really important for me from the beginning of starting this job and any new initiative is that um, it's important for to establish teams and coordinators of those mission initiatives um, very early on because I'm well aware that I won't be here forever but when that time comes it's really good to have those things in place from the beginning so that it just happens naturally um, that coordinators and teams develop their own sense of leadership skills and um, can do that from day one without it being dependent on me as the missioner. Um, and now it's got to the point that I don't know when I'll move on from here, but in terms of those teams, so some of the things that we do, like um, sacred space on the beach, for example, I just join in with that. I'm not necessarily leading it, um, I'm not necessarily coordinating it. it, it happens and I join in with it. I believe that this is something any deanery could do and it would be important um, when appointing somebody to perhaps look for someone who could work closely with inherited church as well as developing new ways of church and alongside that um, it's really important to work ecumenically. I also think it's essential to have a heart for reaching unchurched people and also to have the ability to develop initiatives and teams but know um, when the time is right and how important it is to let go. In Scarborough Deanery it wasn't that they are a wealthy deanery, far from it. It was more about that they decided to channel their resources in a different and more creative way. It's all about taking a risk and I believe that's something any deanery can do.